Good morning again. Good morning, good morning. How are you? Hi, Meg. Again. <laughs> Okay, so yesterday we did all six strands and a straight stitch. Good morning in the middle of these flowers. Now, they have, of course, they're the same flowers that we've just drawn on the free stitch along. Um, but don't worry. I feel like this is not in there very good. Get it together. Hoop. Come on. Hold my hoop in can't be having it so yeah I'm doing two live videos every day so there'll be one most likely at 10 o'clock in the morning for the free stitch along and then I'll try to do the paid stitch along right after um the difference some of it will be really different and some of it will just be a little bit different so in the beginning I'm kind of easing everybody in with um very similar but different <laughs> hoops if that makes any sense and I just happen to use like similar colors as well so there we go but yeah um I'll also try to do a couple that are later in the evening for people who live in America and don't want to wake up at five o'clock in the morning to watch these and so that they'll have a bit of a chance to chat as well so hopefully it will work nicely. Okay, so today I've got color and number 88, stranded Moulin. And yesterday I had number eight, so it was eight, 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 like that. Okay, we've got all six strands and we're gonna do the satin stitch. Excuse me, I've got like the burps this morning. Got a lot going on, guys, okay? Got a stuffy nose. I was up late. I didn't get my rest. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, so for these here, we're just gonna do these little petals. And we're not gonna go up two like this. We're gonna actually go into just a little bit. So some will be long and some will be shorter but we're gonna try to make them all go into the thread, like that, okay? The other thing I'm gonna do is, and it helps a lot of people, um, is draw lines on. So what we're looking for here is parallel lines. They should be nice and smooth all together. This damn black thread keeps coming through. Yeah? All parallel lines. So you, you shouldn't have any like wedges like we did yesterday where we kind of made some that are not as long as the other ones so that they can fill in the space on the outside. All we're looking for here is for them to be nice and straight, parallel, um, they will fill the shape a little bit, so you might have a couple shorter ones, and they're gonna go into these threads. So I'm gonna stop talking and just go for it. There we go. And let me just poke these out real quick. Okay. So again, all six strands. We're gonna try to poke them into the stitches that we've already made.
Good morning. Now with satin stitch, I like to start in the middle, even if it's like a really simple shape like these, because I find that if I start in the middle, then I know exactly the center of it, and then I can work out in either way. So sometimes I'll do one down the middle, one to the left, one to the right, one to the left, one to the right. Sometimes I'll do one down the middle and then fill in all of the left and then go back and fill in all of the right. I just find that it helps me to make the petal completely central to um, the rest of the flower instead of kind of filling it in almost on an angle like that. And if you have a different way of doing satin stitch that you absolutely love, um, do, th do it that way. Like that's totally fine. That's good. On to the next one. So we just wanna make sure that we have a nice edge on the outside. I probably could do one more stitch there, see? You don't want to go too far in because you still want to have a center. You still want to have the center color there. So if you went all the way into here, then we would really lose a lot of the color. Yeah? So we're just going a little bit. Again, all six strands for this. If you're using a smaller hoop, like a six inch hoop, you might have to go down to four or even three if you think it looks too chunky. I am gonna go back and do one more. I think the, <coughs> sorry, I think the most uh, asked question about satin stitch is how to get them looking smooth, but also how do you know how far apart to put your stitches? And for that, you need to know how thick your thread is. So oftentimes when I was just starting out, I would lay my thread where I wanted it to go. So for example, I'll come up here yeah, and you just have to know how thick is your thread. So I kind of know exactly how, what the thickness of six inches or six strands of thread is. So I know how far over to make my, my next stitch. Does that make sense? So if I put it way over here, then there would be a space between See how there's like a little space there? Well, you can't because now it's, but there is, <laughs> there's a little space in between these. Because the shadow is, I ruined my own point. But yeah, once you know how thick your thread is, and even by kind of like laying it down and seeing like how much space it takes up, then you can see where to come up next because you want it to be close, but not too close that you're going through it, but not too far away that it won't, it won't be smooth and you'll see a gap. And of course, you can always go back in and put a couple more stitches in if you need to. So that's fine. Another one? I'll do it anyways. 
Oh. I took it out because it was clearly not parallel. It was over to the side. And that's going to be really distracting. Well, to me. <laughs> Hello, Angela. How are ya? Keep hitting my soup cans. Can you hear them? Okay, I've just got two more petals left. I think I will leave you to do the other petals on your own or for catch-up day. because it's the exact same as these, you know? A bit of homework. Don't forget to uh, comment on each other's pictures, posts that they've, um, Put on the Barmy Fox SAL hashtag. And don't forget to post your pictures to be entered in the giveaway on Saturday. Now, don't forget we put a knot here, so we're just going to have to avoid that a little bit. but it's way easier to avoid the knot in on the outside than it is on the inside. Got like the perfect amount of thread. Okay, so we're almost to the end. Uh, the very last thing that you should do after you finish all of your stitching for the petals is to go back and have a check, make sure that all of the edges are nice and you like the, the, um, the line that makes each one. So if you need to kind of put another couple of stitches here or there to make the outside edge nice and neat, go ahead and do that. And of course, if you didn't fill in, like I didn't fill in all of the lines here, um, don't worry about it because it's a heat erasable pen. So at the very end, we'll blow dry it and that will get rid of it. Okay, so that's one flower finished. Yeah, so you can do the other one on your own. Of course you can. Get this. I'm just gonna tie a knot here on the end. And that's all. So I hope you guys have a great Monday. And I will see you tomorrow. All right. Bye.